So let's break down the sales process here. Part one, diagnosis and qualification. Uh, part two is gonna be education of the tax planning process, right? And there's a big difference between presenting knowledge and how smart you are and like what our tax planning process is. I've had to explain this to a lot of people who are especially turning this over to a salesperson. They're not buying your knowledge, they're buying what the process is, right? That's what you're selling is the, at the end of the day, the result. What's the firm and owner origin story? What are just some different client case studies and pricing and handling objections is gonna be at the end there. So let's break down the first part. The big thing that we're trying to look for here is what's their actual estimated savings and you want to get it within a basic range right and I've had so many conversations with people who come through like well I gotta know like down to the dollar before I even talk to the person right has anybody felt that before I have to know exactly how much they're gonna say you're gonna be wrong almost 100% of the time right so you just want to understand is there savings that we can go get and can we assist them with those pain points on the education you have to focus on tax planning process how strategies can be used legally to save money in taxes versus here's all the things I know here's all the things that we can do or whatever it is you just basically want to have them understand what the difference is in prep and planning, right? And this might include information about tax deductions, credits, other ways to reduce the client's budget and show in an estimation or what are the rough things that we're gonna be focusing on versus like this is a specific thing for you today, right? Because we haven't brought them as a client, we don't know all the answers yet. And then this is a really big one that we're actually gonna have a couple people share today is our firm and or, or owner origin story. So I want you to all start thinking because there will be an activity later. Why did you get in this business? Why are you here? Right? Not why are you here because you know you talked to somebody and they're really excited, you got really excited, you want a great firm, but like why are you here? Why are you doing this business? Why are you in this firm? Why are you even interested in tasks, right? It might be a pain you feel of like, oh, I would really want my business to be successful. Why did you want your business to be successful in this industry, right? So we're thinking about that for a second because that is actually very, very powerful about getting somebody to understand you and really feel that emotion behind why you help people versus like, well, we help people because they're overpaying. We have this really monotonous robotic business. Right? They're usually buying from a small business so they can feel that. They can feel that they're talking to the owner. They 